Hello. I pray that you are well today. Have you ever found yourself in a hole? A hole so deep that it seemed so slippery. And it was more slippery and more slippery and more slippery. Every time you got out, deeper you fell. You can't get out. It's just so slippery. You're stuck. You ever felt that way? Maybe your thoughts, maybe your fears, maybe your lack of knowing what to do, maybe the overwhelming uncertainty. Some people call all of this anxiety. In Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7, it says, have no anxiety about anything. God actually says to you and to me, you don't have to have anxiety about anything, but in everything, everything, by prayer and petition, make your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. He goes on, whatsoever things are good or trustworthy, true, praiseworthy, think about such things. So our mind is connected directly to our worry, which is correct, connected directly to our peace. Peace. That's what God wants you to have today. Peace. Have you ever been overshadowed with anxiety? Have you just been filled with stress, with uncertainty, with fear, with lack of peace. God wants you to know that he's with you. Have no anxiety about anything, but everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And God will give you peace. And you think about the things that are good, not the things that are bad. The things that are beautiful, not the things that are ugly. Things that are noble, not the things that are wrong. Have you ever found yourself caught in a barrel? Maybe a barrel of apples? Think about that for a moment. And then water is poured on top of it. And you know what happens with a barrel of apples when water is poured on top of it? Apples pop up to the top. And you can pull an apple up and another one pops in its place and another one and another one pops in its place. And it seems as if all the apples float to the top. All the worries flow to the top of my heart and of your heart. I pray. I pray that you are not caught in a pit of worry or a barrel of anxiety, but that you have the peace that passes understanding. Let's pray. Dear God, we pray for all of us who struggle with worry and anxiety and stress, we give it to you again. We cast all our cares on you because you care for us. You said to us, you love us with an everlasting love. May we have that confidence, that peace, that strength, that hope, that truth that becomes the foundation of our very lives. For that we thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray that you are well. I pray whether you feel yourself caught in a pit of slippery worry or a barrel of extreme anxiety, you're not caught. May God have his peaceful hands upon you and may you know he'll never leave you or forsake you. God bless you.